again we have completed till 21st question in the last video 21st questions a number we have done b c and d you have done already as a homework is it so today we will do the 22nd question that is a subtraction addition we have done earlier now the same fractions subtraction let's see how to do subtract 1 whole 2 by 5 from 3 whole 7 upon 10. Check the denominators are same or different. It is different. So we have to make LCM first. Before that convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. We already learned earlier how to convert a mixed fraction into a improper fraction. Convert into improper fraction how? 5 multiply 1 plus 2 by 5 and for this fraction 10 multiply 3 plus 7 by 10 that means 5 under 5 plus 2 7 by 5 and 10 3 to 30 plus 7 37 by 10 so now the fractions are instead of 1 integer 2 upon 5 and 3 integer 7 upon 10 instead we have 7 by 5 and 37 by 10. Now find out the LCM of 5 and 10. Same common division method we will find the LCM. 5 and 10 using 2 number we can divide that means 2 is a prime number. Only take prime number don't forget to use prime number. If you take composite number your answer will be wrong. Keep this point in your mind. Take only prime numbers. So, 2 divided by 2, 2. 5 divided by 2 is not possible. So, 5, same 2, same carry down. And 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Again, 5 and 5 divide by 5. So, 1, 5 is 5, 1, 5 is 5. Till getting 1, we have to do this. Now, LCM is equal to, take all the numbers. 2 multiply 5. Prime factors are 2 and 5. So, 2, 5 is 10. Now, Convert those fractions into like fraction. These are not like. This fraction is not in like fraction. Like fraction means what? The denominators should be same. That time we can call the, those fractions are like fractions. So convert this 7 by 5 into like fraction. And 37 upon 10 also into convert into like fraction. Now 7 by 5. For getting 10 means this LCM is 10. For getting 10 which number we have to take? 5 multiply 2 is equal to 10. The same number upside. With the numerator also we have to multiply. 7 2s are 14. Now instead 7 by 5 we have 14 upon 10. Next 37 by 10. 10 already the denominator is 10. So 10 multiply 1 is equal to 10. Again upside multiply 1. So, the number is 37 by 1. Now, subtract. 14 by 10 and 37 by 10. This 7 by 5 is the first number. And 37 by 10 is the second number. So, from after number we have to take first. So, 37 by 10 would be the first number. 37 by 10 minus 14 upon 10. And take Denominator is a common and numerator 37 minus 14 is equal to 37 minus 14, 23. 23 by 10. This is an improper fraction. We can convert into mixed one. 2 integer 3 upon 10. Answer. Next one. Write the decimals in words. We have to write the in words decimals. Let's see the question and answers. 0 0.984. Write in words. The same way we have to write 0 0.984. Why we have to read this number individually? You know, because after the point, after, after the decimal, the values are less than 1. That is why we have to read it individually. 0 0.984. Got it? Next number, 24th. Arrange the following decimals in ascending and descending order. 
decimal numbers are given here arrange it in ascending and descending order i will tell you what are the steps to follow before arranging in ascending and descending order let's see 0 0.6 0 0.72 4.08 0 0.348 0 0.006 this is the question we have to arrange in ascending and descending order after getting the question what we have to do the first step is arrange the decimals the decimal numbers in like decimals what is like decimals like decimals means after the decimal point the digit should be equal for that take it out of the maximum number of digits here see 0 0.348 three digits having here also 0 0.006 also three digits after the decimal three three digits are there so the remaining decimal numbers also make it three digits so we can that time we can call these decimals are like decimals so instead 0 0.6 we can write 0 0.600 don't change the place values 6 is after the point after the point you you cannot change the place values of the number only add zeros 0 0.600 0 0.720 0 0.348 0 0.006 now all the numbers all the decimal numbers are are in like decimals now ascending order the same way like whole numbers how we do the same way means 0 point first ascending order the smallest number we have to take first check it out here is a whole number so this is the biggest number baki all whole number part the remaining numbers having zero so 0, 0.0 this is the smallest one baki all the places numbers having here also one 0, 0.0 is there but this is a whole number part it's the biggest number 0, 0.006 we will write first then go to the next smallest 0, 0.3 0, 0.348 next 0, 0.6 0 0.600 and 0. next one 0. 0.7 0. 0.720 and the last biggest one 4.080 why this is biggest because there is a whole number and the rest of the numbers not having whole numbers whole number places here there are zeros so this is the biggest number and this one is the smallest number so ascending order 0 0.006, 0 0.348, 0 0.600, 0 0.720, 4 0.080. Descending order, the opposite of ascending order. Biggest number 4.080, 0 0.720, 0 0.600, 0 0.348 and 0 0.006. Worksheet number 1.5, F and G you have to do, that questions are related to these decimals. And I would like to show one video related comparing and ordering decimals. Please watch the video. Words to know. Baseball. Decimal point. Number line. Short word form. How can you compare decimals? Think about this question during the lesson. Batting averages for a single season are shown for some baseball players. Looking at the table, how many decimal places do the batting averages have? Each decimal number that represents a batting average has three decimal places. How would you write 342 thousandths in short word form? 342 thousandths. If the player with the batting average of 342 thousandths batted 1,000 times, how many hits would he or she have? He or she would have 342 hits. Which of the two batting averages circled is greater? Let's find out. One way to compare 342 thousands and 344 thousands is by locating them on the number line. 
on the number line is four thousands greater than two thousands? Yes, four thousands is greater than two thousands. Which is greater, three hundred forty-two thousands or three hundred forty-four thousands? Three hundred forty-four thousands lies to the right of three hundred forty-two thousands on the number line. Therefore, three hundred forty-four thousands is greater than three hundred forty-two thousands. Another way to compare three hundred forty-two thousands and three hundred forty-four thousands is to line the numbers up so that their decimal points align. Then compare the digits from left to right. Working from left to right, the thousands place is the first place in which the digits are different. Four is greater than two, so three hundred forty-four thousands is greater than three hundred forty-two thousands. Why should you compare the digits from left to right instead of right to left? You start comparing from the greatest place, and the places to the left are greater than those to the right. You have learned two ways to compare decimal numbers. One, locate them on a number line. Two, line the numbers up with their decimal points aligned. Next, twenty-fifth question. That is, addition and subtraction of decimals. Let's see how to solve the questions. Addition of a decimal number. Fifteen point five eight two plus seven point five six two plus eighty point five zero one. This is the question. To add or subtract decimal numbers, we have to follow few steps. The first step is convert the given decimal into like decimals. This is already is in like decimals. If it is not, we have to convert into like decimal. That is the first step. The second one is arrange the place values in such a way that the digits of the same places are in the same column. The digit of the places are in the same column. According to the place values, you have to arrange. Add the arranged numbers like whole numbers. These arranged numbers you have to add like whole numbers. Remember. to place the decimal point down in the same place as the numbers above it remember the decimal place decimal point that don't forget to put okay like whole numbers we can add the main thing is according to the place values you have to arrange this is the whole number part and this is decimal part ones and tens and here this is Tenth place, hundredth place, and thousandth place. This is the place value of decimals. Add it first. Two plus two plus one, five. Eight plus four, fourteen. One carry over. Five plus five plus five, and one, sixteen. One carry over again. You can give that carry over to uh, whole number part. Five plus one plus seven is equal to thirteen. Again, one. One plus one plus eight is equal to ten. One hundred three point six zero six four five is the answer. Twenty fifth number B number do as a homework. And today's class is over. And today's homework is from worksheet one point five F and G sums. Thank you.